Welcome to a long video today. It's um of the 100 Baby Challenge, the male sim edition with Kai, last of the Brun G, from Lex. Anyways, um, this is going to be a long video. <sighs> Anyways, we're finally going to give birth to the first set of twins. We're going to have to keep having twins in this episode. It makes the, episode, the, the series go by a lot faster. Uh, by doing, like, two kids at a time. And it's going to make it all go by much faster. It needs for me to keep track of all the kids, too. Um... Here we are. Welcome, April and Betty. I'm using some names that I've used, like in the beginning of the first hundred baby challenge. Just recycling names, but whatever, because I didn't feel like looking up new names. <laughs> That's just me. But I swear, in the second, in the second, uh, I mean, the two hundred baby challenge, that there would be new names. There will be new names, I swear. <laughs> just just recycling old names. Um, until we get to the end of the challenge. Because I am counting grandchildren in this one. You're not going to see the grandchildren until toward the end. And they're not the main focus. I mean, they're kind of our focus, but Kai is the main focus here. So, uh, yeah, a long video. What is there to talk about? I don't know. I'm just mostly silent because what is there to talk about? You think after not recording for over a month that I have something to talk about? Hmm? Not really. It's just. Oh, look, I see Thoden! Here's the next one. Morgan. I keep calling her. I don't know when I see the name uh, Fires. I keep thinking Fries. I keep calling the last name Fries. Like Morgan Fries. <laughs> or something like that. Uh, I don't know why. It's the, this is the way my brain is. Okay. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. thinking about the copyright thing on my uh, hotel video as I was saying in the last video because I'm, I'm recording commentary on these like on the same day and uh, the first three videos and um because I like to be nine videos ahead when I start uploading these videos it's only the 28th of April and this video is going to be up on the 1st of May and I like to be like ahead you know, I'm just, I don't want to be behind in the hotel video. And uh, YouTube um, gave me a copyright notice for my hotel build video saying I was using a song called uh, Last One Standing. Where did they hear that in the video? Because the only songs I've used in my video were... Two songs from the Sims 4 soundtrack. They were called Milan and Breakfast. I, I repeat those songs whenever I'm doing a build video that is an Alex build. So where in the heck did they hear a song called The Last One Standing? Where did they hear that? YouTube, you need to get your ears cleaned and listen carefully. You're just making up stuff now. Now get that claim off my video. Because you did not hear what you thought you heard. But seriously, I'm mad. If it was your video that got a copyright notice for just accusing you of something you didn't do, you'd be mad too. I'm just not going to let it go. They're accusing me of something I didn't know. I'm, I'm mad. You'd be mad too. And I'm trying to focus on this. Because, seriously. I'll be, I'll be worried about this now. But, in the end, 
I'm not gonna be thinking about. I'm. I mean, there's gonna be a time I'm not gonna be thinking about. It. It'll just be old news. In this episode, obviously, Kai and Jade welcome April and Betty as heartless as it looks. Kai moves on to the next girlfriend. You know, I. <laughs> I know it's look like he's using women. Zev was doing it too. <laughs> and people call- I had one comment in the beginning of the series where somebody called Zev a slut. You know, that's like you can't win for lose- losing situation. Because this is where I messed up. I'm trying to get. I'm off topic again. This is where I messed up. There was an option for her to try for a baby. Right? And we try for a baby. And the next episode, I later find out that the kids were not his, but belonged to her husband, Dominique. I'm like, okay, why didn't I notice that before? And I'm noticing it now because I noticed it after she had her babies. But why would she tell Kai? Because there was still an option to try for a baby. But here's the thing. If you haven't tried for a baby, if, I mean, if you haven't took a pregnancy test yet... There's still an option to try for a baby. But so- sometimes. See, but I don't know why I didn't notice until after she had her babies. But I'm noticing it now after I pre-recorded it. Because I didn't notice it until after she had her babies. It's like, they don't look like Kai. They look like her husband's bait. They look like somebody else's. I'm like, and I, and they were, so they didn't count. Also, they didn't count towards the hundred baby challenge. It's like he kind of wasted his time with this woman. Why is she announcing to him that she's pregnant? Because that was the confused the crap out of me. Because if they're not Kai's kids, why would she tell him that she's pregnant? If they're not really his kids. That didn't make this make any sense. If they were her, because he's just nearby, it's just an automatic response. It's like, oh, hi, I'm telling you that you're, I'm pregnant, but you're not the father. But since you're here, I'm just gonna tell you the news. <laughs> what kind of crap is that? For, see, when I used to see command center, the last, the only thing I checked to see if she was pregnant. Because there was an option to try for a baby, check to see if she's pregnant, and she was pregnant. And, and in the next episode, I realized she didn't have his kids. She had some, she was married, she had her husband's kids. I'm like, ah, I just wasted an episode. That's my life. And that's also my luck, too. That's my luck. It's just my luck. I heard to be pregnant with someone else's kids, and I'm going to be wasting a whole freaking video on this woman who's pregnant with somebody else's kids. Because when, even though you tried for a baby and you haven't taken a pregnancy test yet, you can try for a baby still. <laughs> like really? Because oh. she apparently she tried a baby with her husband, and but she, Kai met her before she could take a pregnancy test. Like seriously, those pregnant Sims you see on the game that our NPC characters who are already pregnant are pregnant or look obviously pregnant. She didn't look like she just did it with her husband. How long did she, was she planning on waiting to tell her husband she was pregnant or something? And she's telling Kai that she's pregnant. Hey, I'm pregnant with my husband's baby. Woo! And he's got excited. Does it make any sense? Oh, I don't make any sense sometimes. It's just, this is going to be a long video. 
<laughs> Sometimes I run out of things to talk about. And you just got to work on skills until she gives birth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be silent most of the time because what else am I supposed to talk about? I don't know what to say through a whole video. I don't know why I agreed to do a 200 baby challenge. I'm just taking a little bit of recording break because seriously, it took me three days to build the hotel. I can only get one view. <laughs> to build what I could of the hotel. It didn't, it's not as easy as it looks, okay? The reason it took me three days because I was busy. You know, I had real life stuff to do. You know? And, and I, ha I had plans, so things got just got put off and... I get distracted. It took me a while to build that hotel. Oh, a vampire! Just broke into my house! Really? Just one, just one casual conversation? How about this? You're gonna break into my house? Well, humanize him. <laughs> That'd be funny. He's not a vampire anymore. He's leaving. He was going to get deleted, but he's leaving now. <laughs> there was no reason for him to be in the house. He's no longer a vampire. <laughs> he was just going to get deleted. <laughs> he, Kai just spared your life because Kai's an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't use, doesn't kill. I just use the delete button. Because if I use the kill option, or kill Sim in, in MC Command Center, everybody's going to get traumatized. Any Sim in the house is going to get traumatized. So instead of avoiding the, everyone getting traumatized by some, by some, some, some random person's death, I don't, we just use the delete key. This is the delete option. So, and Kai's an assassin, so that's what he did. <laughs> he assassinates those come to his house. You gonna break into my house? You get that whoops out his brace and hmm. I kill you the name is Divine Shadow. <laughs> I delete you in the name is Divine Shadow. <laughs> You don't break in the Kai's house. <laughs> also, you'll notice you got birds that are flying, like, outside. It looks like they're flying inside sometimes because you don't see the roof. <laughs> you don't see the ceiling. And it um, looks like the birds are flying inside from time to time. In case y'all notice that. I'm just drinking some tea to get thirsty. Uh, Zoe is um has a Girl Scout thing today. She's on. Um, they have this thing uh, for the Humane Society, and that's where she's at now. And she'll be back in a couple of hours. Well, I gotta pick her up in a couple of hours. I want her to do as much Girl Scouts as I can. I mean, she once had this, um, uh, there was this talent show. I thought it was just like when they do the caroling around Christmas that it was optional. And when it came to discussing the talent show like afterwards and people were getting badges for it and Zoe didn't get one. Every, the leader in 
embarrassed her in front of all the other girls. And so it was crying. Because it's like I missed something. I didn't think it was important. People, like, oh my gosh. I didn't think this township thing, I thought it was optional. I didn't think it was mandatory. I thought that the township thing was optional. So I don't do one thing. And people probably remember that one thing you didn't do. You're trying to do good. You're trying to do everything. And people only remember stuff you didn't do for them, okay? I don't understand that. I also don't like when someone picking on my kid at school. I hate it. Like one time she was in, right before spring break, she was in the lunch line getting her food. And she got out of line to talk to her friend. Which, and, uh, which she shouldn't have done. But she got out of line to talk to her friend. And kid accused her of cutting in the line. And when it came to the front of the line, the kid who accused her of cutting in line was crying. <laughs> and the lunch lady said, get out of my face. I don't want to see you. And nobody came forward to say that that really didn't happen. Nobody just stuck up for my kid. Nobody. There were tons of witnesses. And nobody came up to my kid and defended her. Because it really did not happen. My kid is not violent. That happened one time during, during a during a recess period. I don't know. She was talking to one of her friends. It was a boy. And a fourth, either third or fourth grader, it was an older kid, came up and walked up to her and threatened to beat her up. And when Zoe went to the, went to the nearest teacher, he was on watch, and told them, that teacher about what ha- just happened, the kid walked up to the, the, when the kid was called forward, the kid said, she let me first. And my, my kid was the one who got to sit out for recess. I mean, that's not fair. Why is my kid getting in trouble for stuff other people did? And how come when somebody comes at my kid first and when Zoe defends herself, teachers only see my kid defending herself? I don't see what the other kid did first. I don't understand that. That's the stuff I went through when I was growing up. That's the stuff I went through when I was in grade school. People were picking on me and and nobody did anything to back me up. Nobody. I'm sick of this crap. People picking on my kid and my kid just feels defenseless. And when my kid ever tries anything in self-defense, she gets in trouble. And she's just using her words. She's not... Threatening anybody. She's not beating up anybody. She's using her words. I told her to insult people who only hurt you. If people come up to you and say something bad to your face or give you a hard time, you have a right to insult them back. And if they go crying to the teacher or whoever who's nearby, she has a right to say, I only insulted them in self-defense. Maybe they shouldn't have came at me or wouldn't have insulted them in the first place. You know? I mean, it's too long. Maybe you should say, I only insulted them in self-defense because they came at me first. I'm not telling her to use violence. I'm not telling her to use threats. Insults. I've seen her use insults before. But... She should really do that to people who give her a hard time in school. Teachers don't do anything. They, they don't help. Teachers never help me. They never pack me up. It's just some always the kid's fault. It's just my mother-in-law. She just assumes it's my kid's fault. People like, oh, so you just can't take a joke. You just you're seriously blaming my kid for people picking on her? It's not my kid's fault.
I swear it's supposed to be a good video. But I got really not enough to talk about. We got Kai visiting the Lang. We got Stan. We got both of them. We got Priest. We got Jigarata. Bunny's around somewhere. And we got Thoden. Kai needs to make friends so he can invite them to parties. So, Laika's around somewhere too. So, um, I like this Lex. <laughs> And Jigarot's evil. She's got the evil laugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm making friends so we can invite them to parties. We got, what's Lex, Lex series without... I mean, Lex characters. I don't know why her name is Lex Bruno. Her name's not Lex Bruno. Because in another... Um, because in another gameplay... I know I spelled Jigarot wrong. Just ignore that for a moment. <laughs> In another gameplay, she was married to Kai. And I'm just re reusing uh, characters from a different gameplay. <laughs> In, a, In a different gameplay, Jigarata was married to Kai. I had the Zeb with the Z married the Thoden. Because. Technically, if in I wish to shot though, Thoden was Zeb's first kiss. So I'm gonna make her marry to Thoden. I don't really know what else to talk about. I was using this in a few episodes in the Super Sim Challenge. I'm using it again. I like this build. <laughs> I also, yeah, I use this in the. Yeah, I use this in the Super Sim Challenge. And this in this challenge in this challenge too. Cause I like it. I like this build. It's one of my favorite builds. It's from me reusing it. This is one of the first one of the houses I built when uh, Get Famous first came out. Also, speaking of Lex, since it's never, ever, ever going to be a spinoff to Lex, uh, like season five, I'm making my own spinoffs in season four of Lex. Sims, Sims 4. And it's Lex themes. Yeah. There's your spinoff. <laughs> I do my own spinoffs. I do Bit Life Controls My Sims. It's like a prequel and a, a sequel. <laughs> um, and you got Hunter Baby Challenge. And you got a, a Super Sim Challenge. And you got this Hunter Baby Challenge. These are my. You want to spin off the Lex? This is. Uh, you can do this without saving. You can do this and save money. You won't see that life's going through space. Because you can't really do that in Sims 4. But if you want them to see them go through space. You can do that. I go into a planet. The planet 6. Of, which is a planet you can go to in Sims 4. But it won't be with the Lex. It go, they, go, they go on a rocket or through a portal. So, if you want to do that, it has to be, because I pre-recorded the entire Males Hunter Baby Challenge, so I won't use your theory for the Lex to visit planets <laughs> until the 200 Baby Challenge. Zef can use a rocket to uh, get her uh, rocket skill up, and she can visit Planet Sixum. If you want to... The Lex to kind of technically visit another planet. I did kind of in, uh, in the Super Sim Challenge. Prince went visit there, so Lex kind of visited another planet. <laughs> yeah. In, in Bit Life, I try to be creative. 
like the worlds are that they visit, like Strangerville and uh, Newcrest and Willow Creek and and Win in um Windenburg. Those are and uh, Bright and Br- Bridleton or Brindleton Bay are worlds. They're other planets. <laughs> To be creative like that. <laughs> Lex can hover. Okay, this Lex is not as big as the Lex in the, in the show, but it works. They say the little, it's like the little Lex. <laughs> Technically, like the little Lex. And um, it's like the Lex is visiting a city. On the planet they're on, and the other worlds in the game are maybe just other planets. I did that in Bit Life, where it like when the Stan's kids moved out, they at the other place they moved somewhere else, and it's like they moved to another planet. <laughs> Stan couldn't technically visit them because they're on another planet. You could, but, you know, like Planet Strangerville or Planet uh, Windenburg or Planet Newcrest or something. That's what, that's what we could do in the series. You just, you just have to be creative. They, they're living on a planet. They found a planet called home. Planet Oasis Springs. <laughs> Just going to be creative. And kind of just painting to get his skills up. And to make money. It seems like the other Hunter Baby Challenge. The main sim can't have a job. And Kai is not going to have a job because, well... I'm using some rules, but not all rules. Okay? I'm not using all the rules. Because sometimes you got to do some cheating to make it exciting. <laughs> you got to cheat sometimes. You can't, I can't do a challenge without cheating sometimes. I mean, you got to do it where it's not noticeable. You know, if I did cheat, I, I'd tell you. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to pretend I'm not cheating. I, I tell you. If I was. Okay, I do cheat some relationships. So Kai can ha- find a lot of baby... A lot of girlfriends. I don't say baby mamas, but... Girlfriends. I do cheat some relationships, but not all. I do toward the end. Uh, What else do I cheat? Um, I, I influence gender. Maybe to have two kids instead of one. And she's only pregnant with one. So, I don't do that. And the other hand, maybe, Jones, I did toward the end. Like on the last generation, but the other generations, no. I did sometimes. But in this one, I do influence gender. If, if there's a boy, I add a girl to it, too. Or if there's a girl and I want... Sometimes I flip a coin, and I want to see if, if the boy name get girl, or the boys have girl names and girls have boy names. I like to change that up. It just seems fun. So they all don't look, like, the same as Zev's kids, you know, because I'm using the names from the first and second generation. Because that's how far I got They're the first and second generation uh, names from yeah the the I'm using uh, Kai is using names to name his kids from the first and second generation from the other hundred baby challenge just the first and second generation name I don't get as far as the third or the fourth because um um I'm just lazy. But I swear, in this 200 baby challenge, new name, I swear. But we are making money. 
by painting. We gotta work on some skills. Anyways, um, I need five more minutes in this video. Oh my gosh. Con, why are you just standing around? He's just standing. He's just standing there. I get. I gotta do something. If I'm not back by the end of the video, then stay tuned for the next video. Oh, look, I made it back by the end of, before the end of the video. <laughs> well, you know, I like to cover my bases sometimes, but you never know. Anyways, um, I don't know if anybody can hear background noise, but I hope not. Anyways, um, we are doing more painting, obviously, because this is a long video. Of Kai just working on his skills. You're gonna see that often, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even like to use silence throughout my whole video. I really don't like to do that. You know, when I make speed bills, you know, like my hotel video. It's like 38 minutes long. That's including screenshots and an intro. But here's the thing. 38 minutes for a speed build. I'm going to be honest. Each video unedited. Well, most of them. Like, uh, it would have been a lot longer. Let's just say that, um, if I didn't record, oh my gosh, the video would have been almost three hours long, three or four hours, and that's, and some stuff I didn't record, because I did some off-screen 
And, um, oh my gosh, the video would have been over three hours long. So, be thankful that it's not over three hours long and it's 38 minutes. Speed build. <laughs> it's a speed build because otherwise it'd be over three hours long. Anyways, um, this is the end of this video. So, stay tuned for part three. Is get Kai get down and funky with himself. Dance like it's your birthday, Kai. Dance like it's your birthday.